At last in iOS 12, you can group multiple notifications from the same app on the lock screen or notification center. This cuts down the clutter and you can deal with notifications in one go rather than individually delete multiple notifications. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can uh, set up notifications in iOS 12 and how to manage that process. So at the moment, if I bring down the notifications center, uh, I have a whole lot of notifications from um, the news app, various applications within the news app that are just so numerous. There's so many of them. Notifications in iOS 12 will stop that clutter. You go into settings, notifications, and notifications are organized on an individual basis. So there's no overriding setting for notifications to group everything. You have to decide one by one. The news app is the one that I want to change. So I'm going to tap that. And there are some different settings now within each notification that you can set at the same time. So at this point, you can decide whether you want notifications at all for that app, and you can toggle that switch on or off. So turning it off means no notifications will be delivered at all for the news app. And then you have different types of alerts. So lock screen. Sometimes you don't want certain notifications to appear on the lock screen because they're visible by anyone. And less private notifications, they don't do any harm. So like the news from the news app, it doesn't matter if someone else sees it. But if you don't want any notification to appear on the lock screen, toggle it off for that app. And then the only way you'll be able to see those notifications is if you actually manually pull down your notification center. The notification center means you have to actually manually go and see them yourself. So if I pull that down, I can see all my notifications. I can scroll through them. I can deal with each one, which we'll explain later, but they'll never appear on the lock screen. The banner, if you disable the banner, you won't get that message that comes up when a, when a notification appears. You get a, a message that appears either briefly or permanently. If you disable banners, then you'll, you won't even know there's a notification. You'll, have to, you'll actually have to physically go, pull down your notification center and then search for them. So often it's a good idea to have a banner, but make it a temporary banner so it's not going to stick around. So if I turn banners on and notification center for news, then I've got to decide, do I want that banner style to be temporary or persistent? Temporary means the notification will appear for a few seconds and then disappear. And persistent means the notification will stay on the screen until you manually swipe it away. And you might use that for notifications that are so important that you don't want to miss them under any circumstance. I'm going to make that temporary because I don't really want to see it. Sounds. Do you want uh, an audible alert every time a notification lands on your iPad? If you don't, turn that off. And a badge. Badges are just like the icon of the, um, the app and they can make it more tempting to look at the notification. You could leave badges on for messaging apps because they're generally more urgent than knowing your mate just got a top score in Angry Birds. Notification grouping. This is where the, uh, the grouping occurs. At the moment, the grouping is turned off for this app and you can see that they're all individual as they've come in day by day and organized by time. So I can change that to automatic by app or off. Automatic means that the app the notifications will be sorted by app generally, but you might get more than one stack if you have two threads going or it's different days or different incoming message threads. So if I, I put this on to automatic and let's just have a look what it does to the mail app. Now it's organized it into groups, but it's in two stacks. So you've got all the notifications that came in yesterday in one stack and there's 17 of them. And then there's another thread with all of the notifications that came in on Tuesday with five more of those. So that's automatic. Yes, they're grouped, um, but if you want them grouped all in one stack, then you have to choose the other option, which is by app. And now when I go back and have a look at this one, there's only one stack of notifications from news. 23 notifications and they're, they're all organized 
If I want to see them all, I just got to tap. And then I can see all the notifications organized by date and time, all of them grouped together. Single tap to expand and show less to group them again. Now, if I want to delete all of those 23 notifications, when I tap, I can tap the cross and delete them all in one go iOS 12 has another feature called instant tuning. This lets you manage notifications right on the lock screen or notification center without needing to go to the actual app settings. So it provides the tools to turn off notifications, deliver it without any sound, or go to the settings app to tweak the settings. On a single notification or a grouped notification, when I swipe to the left, I get these three options, manage, view, and clear all. On a single notification, you get the same options, but it's just clear, not clear all. So my news notification has been uh, grouped by app. So there's only one of them. So when I swipe left, I get three options, manage, view, or clear all. And anything I change here will affect all of the notifications because they're grouped. So I just swipe on this YouTube notification and click Manage. Manage will give you some fine tuning options instantly. If you select Deliver Quietly, the notification will be visible in the Notification Center when you swipe down from the top of the screen, but you won't see it on the lock screen. There won't be any sound, vibration or banner. The badge will still appear. So I tap deliver quietly. Next time a notification comes in for YouTube, and this will reflect for the whole YouTube app, not just this one notification. I'm not going to, it will be delivered quietly. And you can see that if you go into the settings for that particular app, you can see underneath there, deliver quietly. And when you go into it, you can see the settings have been automatically turned off. So sounds are off, badges are off. And it's only appearing in the Notification Center, no banner, no lock screen. Now, if you want to reverse that, just tap Deliver Prominently, and that will bring everything back to the original settings. When you tap View, you can see the, uh, the notification. The cross will let you delete that notification. Tap Settings will take you directly to the settings where you can tweak the notification. And if you tap the three dots, you get those fine-tuning features back again also. Tap away just to get back to where you were. Turn off will turn off all notifications for that app. However, with some apps, when you tap this, you get additional options. So when I turn off on YouTube, there is no other option. If I turn off all notifications, I'll receive no more notifications from YouTube. For news, if I turn off, I get an option to either turn off all notifications or just configure what notifications this app can send me. So if I tap configure in news, it takes me to the notification setting for this app. This is Apple News. And these are the channels I follow. And these are the channels I've allowed to send me notifications. So if I don't want them to do that anymore, I'll just turn off those channels I'm really not interested in seeing and just leave some. And if I go back into settings for that app, notifications, news, I've got notifications occurring in the notification center. They're not going to be on the lock screen. I'm going to get a banner that's temporary. I've turned off sounds and badges. It's automatic grouping, so I still might want to change that to group by app. The setting that I just changed in the actual app is not going to appear here in the settings. Another way you can get to the fine tuning feature is to long press on either a single notification or grouped set. So I'm going to long press on the news notification. Tap the ellipsis, the three dots to manage notifications for that app. At the moment, it's set to deliver quietly, so I can deliver prominently to get back the sounds, the badges, etc. And the final feature that's changed with the notification screen, this is my wallpaper for the home screen. When I pull down the notification center, 
the background is now the same as my lock screen. So if I wanted to change the background for the notification center, I'm also going to have to change the lock screen as well. So in this video, I showed you how you can use the notifications feature in iOS 12 on an iPad Pro.